Welcome, Meisner Makers. We are so excited that you are here today to join us for brunch, celebrating our 90th anniversary. And it is thanks to you that we have achieved this milestone. So I'm Jennifer Jiggis here at Meisner Sewing and Vacuum Centers. And on behalf of the Meisner family and all of our staff, again, I just want to say thank you. We are truly honored to be a part of such an amazing, creative community. I think the favorite, one of the favorite things that happens around here every day for all of us is when we get to see the things that you have been creating, whether it's a new student who's finishing up a, their first project in one of our classes, whether it's something that you've brought in to show us that you've been working on. We absolutely love that. And that is the highlight of our day every day. So again, thank you for the first 90 years and here's to another 90 creative and inspiring years. So what's gonna to happen today during this presentation? Over the last couple of years, what we've done about this time of the year is this is the time that follows all of the dealer conventions during the summer. It happens to coincide with the release of our fall Meisner magazine. And it also this year happens to be the start of the ninth month of the year. So we thought it was the perfect time to have this 90th anniversary celebration. So what's in store for you? Hopefully you are, you have your brunch in front of you, you have a cup of coffee, perhaps a mimosa, whatever it is that will keep you entertained for the next little bit of time. And what we'll be doing is, first of all, prizes. Who doesn't like prizes? Stay with me, we'll tell you how to enter for those. We will talk about uh, new product releases from our uh, vendor partners. We'll have some hints and tips for you and we'll, those will be coming from some of our Meisner Maker team. We'll have prizes, did I mention that? There will be video demonstrations throughout. Cameraman Joe, for those video demonstrations that we show, will we be able to create a little playlist for people to go back to? Yep. Absolutely, and information about how to access that playlist will be down at the bottom of the information on today's video. Did I mention prizes, Cameraman Joe? Yep. All right, we'll have prizes. There will be flash sale announcements. Now. Most importantly, I know all of you out there want to know, how do I become eligible for those prizes? Throughout the course of the presentation, and actually any time that you feel so uh, moved, if you want to comment, like, or share, that will enter you in to one of the drawings throughout today's presentation. And we will uh, announce those winners on Tuesday. So you want to be with us on Tuesday, follow up, kind of see what's happening, and maybe you could be one of those prize winners. Now, throughout the course of the presentation, I did mention there would be some flash sales that we'll talk about. Now, some of the products that I'll be sharing information with you about are only available for in-store purchase. Some of them are things that you can purchase with us over the website or via the phone, and we can ship out. So in order to keep things simple and moving along, if you have a question about a product that I um, discussed this morning, then the fastest way and the best way to get you the most complete information is for you to email me at info, I-N-F-O, at MeisnerSewing.com. I will answer each of those messages personally, direct you to the right place to get the best possible information, um, if you can help me out with a phone number and your city and state so that we can get you the most accurate information as quickly as possible, that would be great. Um, there are some products that I am not able to ship to you, and that's by um, contractual agreement with our vendors, but I can get you pointed in the right direction. And then finally, as per cameraman Joel, you will have a playlist so that you can go back through and revisit this information at your leisure. So again, Thank you so much for sharing this time with us today. I know that there are a lot of other things that you could be doing, and it truly does touch my heart when you are spending your time with us. So thank you, and keep bringing in those projects. We absolutely love to see what you're creating. Now, back in 1930, when Ernest Meisner opened up his shop in the Los Angeles area, who would have thought that 90 years later, that his business would have grown to five locations in the Northern California area from San Jose, Santa Rosa, Roseville, Folsom, and our superstore here in Sacramento. And I can imagine his wonderment at the changes in the product categories that we now have available to serve your creative needs. 
Now we did start as an industrial business and in keeping with those industrial roots in wanting to service that um, home business, cottage industry, or the hobbyist in general. The first item that a product that I wanna share with you is a new introduction from our partners at Bernina of America. So with us today, we have, by way of virtual presentation, we have Amanda Murphy. Amanda is an amazing embroidery designer, fabric designer, pattern designer, and spokesperson for the Bernina Q series. Uh, some of you may have remembered when Amanda came to visit with us um, over the last couple of years, she has done some just really amazing classes for us. So she's gonna be here to share with us some information on the new Bernina Q16. I'm Amanda Murphy and I'm a quilt and pattern designer. I love every stage of the quilting process from choosing the fabrics to designing the quilt and to, of course, designing the quilting. Bernina is a Swiss family owned company that's been in business for over 125 years. Their machines are extremely reliable and they're a dream to quilt on. The Swiss engineering produces an easy to use interface and quality stitches every time. The Q16 has the same functions as its bigger sister, the Q20 sit-down. It features a 16-inch throat space. Every domestic quilter out there has struggled to get a fairly large quilt into a small throat space. I even tried to persuade my husband to put hooks on the ceiling, but with the Q16, he didn't have to do that anymore because all those problems went away. With the Bernina Q16, all the controls are right at your fingertips. You can wind the bobbin from the front of the machine. You can thread from the front of the machine. It's all right there for you. Bernina has taken some great features from its domestics and put it on the Bernina Q16. There's a semi-automatic needle threader and the presser foot goes up and down. With the Bernina Q16, you can use any Bernina free motion foot and you can put it on without tools. But best of all, you can use stitch regulation with any foot. This means you have stitch regulation when you use rulers. You have stitch regulation when you couch. It's the perfect quilting companion. The kickstart function enables you to quilt without holding the foot pedal. That means you can concentrate just on the design. The built-in stitch regulator is sensor-driven, ensuring that whether you go fast or you go slow, your stitches remain consistent. You can set it at any stitch length from one to 24 stitches per inch, and it's all right on the screen. The built-in stitch regulator has three different modes. The first mode is set so that when you stop moving, the needle keeps going. This can be very beneficial for designs with corners. The second mode's a little different. It pauses when you pause, so it doesn't make a knot on the back of your quilt. This is especially advantageous for ruler work. The third mode is a basting mode. It can do one, two, or four stitches per inch. This means you can baste your entire quilt and get rid of all those pins that increase the bulk. And the fourth mode is the magic manual mode. And if you think you can't stitch manually on a domestic machine, you should try it on the Q16 because it's exceptionally smooth. I love quilting feathers in the manual mode. For beginners, the stitch regulator is like the ultimate set of training wheels. It makes it easy to keep your stitch length consistent so you can really concentrate on the design. The Bernina engineers are absolute geniuses when it comes to user interface design, and this machine is no exception. The general tools are all on the left, the stitch regulation modes are on the right, and you are set to quilt. On the Bernina Q16, you have numeric thread tension. It makes it easy to adjust the thread tension just a little bit to get the perfect stitch. The lighting on the Q16 affords excellent visibility. In fact, I can quilt straight through the night right before quilt market to get my quilts done. There are so many accessories available for this machine to further enhance the quilting possibilities. You have the needle point laser, which shows you where the, exactly where the needle is going to go down into the fabric. 
You have a double needle stitch plate. This machine can take double needles. You have a horizontal spool pin that you can use to couch or to mount stacked threads. The possibilities are endless. Its foldable table is adjustable in height and it can be stored away in small spaces. The Bernina Q16 is quilting magic. One of the hallmarks of a great quilting experience is when you lose yourself in your work. And that happens with the Bernina Q16. Set your quilting spirit free with the Bernina Q16. Bernina, made to create. That was some great information that Amanda Murphy shared with us. So now I'd like to take a little field trip and Linda's gonna share with you some great tips and hints for getting started on your own free motion quilting journey. Hi, I'm Linda from Meisner's Sacramento store with a few quick quilting tips today. If you're a beginner, don't be scared. It's like any hobby. You just need the right tools to help you succeed and some practice. You're gonna need a cutting mat that you can cut your fabric on so that you don't cut your, into your table's surfaces and it will heal itself as you cut and last a very long time. They come in a variety of sizes. Also, you're gonna need a good ruler with lots of measurements. This one has quarter inch increments. Many have eighth inch increments because cutting accurately is very important to your end product in quilting. And you're also gonna need a rotary cutter. Also, they come in a variety of sizes and colors. Um, I have several different sizes. I like to use a really large one when I'm cutting across the whole width of fabric, and I have a very small one that I use when I'm just cutting smaller pieces of squares. Quilting is a delightful hobby. It's very easy. I always say if you can sew a straight line, you can make just about any quilt out there. Don't be intimidated. Look at a quilt, break it down, see how it was put together, and you go, oh, I can do that. And we also offer some beginning quilting classes at our stores. So I hope you take the leap, start a new fun hobby, and come to Meisner's for your quilting accessories. Thanks, happy sewing. So what is the difference between the Q16 and the other Q series machines in the Bernina family? Quite honestly, it's the difference in the size of the machine itself. So now you have the opportunity to enter the world of free motion extended bed quilting at a really great price point. So your entry level is going to be with this great fold up table. And one of the things that I love about this table is you can fold it and store your machine in a nice narrow space for those times when you're not doing free motion quilting. Some of the things that I love about the Q series, and this is whether we're talking about the Q16, the Q20, which is the 20 inch platform, or the Q24, which is the 24 inch platform. Personally, I love the fact that the touch screen is very simple to understand and to navigate. I love that there's a bobbin winder right on board. I don't have to find a place for another attachment. I love the size of the bobbins. They're huge. Uh, I also really like that I can use my household style needles. Those are the ones that we're accustomed to using that are flat on the back. This way, I always insert the needle correctly the first time as opposed to when I'm using industrial style needles that are round at the top. So those are just a few of the things that I really love. Uh, and this, we're talking specifically at the moment about this sit down series. There's a couple of things that I wanna share with you about the uh, frame series when we get there. So if you do have questions about these machines, we have an expert team that are very knowledgeable about quilting as well as the use of long arm machines that are here to help you out. Just shoot me an email at info at MeisnerSewing.com and we can get those questions answered for you. So we've met the newest member of the family and that's our 16 inch Q uh, Q16 on the fold up table but there are several different options for you to choose from. So this machine can be exactly what you want for your quilting studio. So you have choices, a 16 inch head, and do you want that on the fold up table that we took a look at? Would you prefer to have that on a more traditional style koala cabinet? Now the koala cabinet is nice, those leaves extend out, so you have about 72 inches of workspace out to the, to the sides and the leaves store neatly in the back side of that cabinet. 
Then there's also a hydraulic or a lift table that's available for the Q16 and the Q20. With the lift table, you can adjust, literally adjust the height of that table so that it's, it's comfortable for you whether you choose to quilt sitting or standing. I have a standing desk in my office. I absolutely love it. So I really do like the convenience of having that lift table where I can adjust it up or down. Now again, all three table styles are compatible with both the Q16 and the Q20. So again, which is gonna be right for you? One of the questions that I would ask myself is, number one, am I just getting started? Am I not quite sure if this is gonna be a hobby that I wanna stick with long term? In that case, I would suggest going with a Q16 on the fold-up table. It's that entry price point, it's gonna take the least footprint in your sewing studio, and it's a great place to get started. Now, if you're thinking that you're going to enjoy a sit-down machine, but perhaps down the road, you may want to look at a frame, then I would encourage you to take a look at the Q20. The Q20 can be used in either the sit-down table or it can be put on a frame. If you are looking towards a frame style machine as your get started, then I would suggest the Q24. That's gonna give you the most space this way, and that frame is available in three different sizes. Additionally, you can personalize the frame by hydraulics, you can put casters on it, there are zippered leaders as an option, there is also a whole assortment of presser feet, I forgot to mention this, that work with both the, with the Q16, the Q20, and the Q24. So by having that household needle style, number one, you have a much, ranger, a lot, much larger range of needles that you can work with, plus all of those different presser feet that are available for the machine really makes this a very versatile long arm quilting system that's gonna last a long time. When you're working with the Q20 or the Q24 on the frame, one of the things that I like that you can see here are the articulating handles. So you can slide them forward, you can slide them back, you can move them down, you can move them up. So if you are using rulers for your free motion quilting, it's a nice way when you're on a frame to be able to get down in there nice and tight. Or if you are doing very fine detailed work, it's gonna be a lot easier to manage that on the frame by getting those handles down closer to your fabric. Now again, if this is something that you are interested in, please let one of our knowledgeable long arm specialists help you make the, the right decision for your needs. Not only do we carry the Bernina line of long arms in our store, but we also have long arm products available from Janome, Baby Lock, and Gamel for you to select from. And right now there are anniversary savings on select floor model machines. Now, if you would like to teach your embroider or your quilting machine, whether it's a long arm quilting machine or your domestic sewing machine, some new tricks, I want to show you um, a little bit about ruler work. And again, our friend Amanda Murphy is here to share some tips and hints with you. I'm Bernina Expert, Amanda Murphy, and I'd like to show you my Every Circle Quilting Rulers. They're part of my Good Measure Ruler Collection for Brewer Sewing. So there's five circles in the set, which basically gives you 10 different sizes of circles. Here, I'm going to quilt pebbles or circles in sashing. So I've gone ahead and brought up my bobbin thread and I'm very careful not to bring down my presser foot when my ruler's anywhere around because I don't want to crash into the ruler. I bring the ruler up after I've brought down my presser foot. And here, you can see I'm using the lines on the side of the ruler to make sure that I'm staying in the center of the sashing as I quilt my circles. So I'm gonna quilt around, and note I'm trying to go kind of at a, a steady speed that keeps my stitches steady or two. So I'm gonna do one full circle and another half so I can get up to the top. I'm holding on to those threads as I start to stitch, and then later I can clip them. I've gone over them once, so it's fine, fine to go ahead and clip them. Then I'm going to move up my ruler, and you'll note that the black curved lines on my ruler lie right on top of my previous stitches. This helps me ensure that my pebbles are quilted in a straight line. I'm also though looking at those side lines to ensure that the pebbles are being stitched in the middle of the sashing. So here I go again around the circle. I'm doing a circle and a half, this time in the opposite direction. 
when I get to the top, I can tell I'm at the top because I'm at that center line, I move up the ruler. So now again, the lines on my ruler are on top of my previously stitched circles. And I just continue up the sashing area until the design is completed. I always like to choose a circle that's slightly narrower than the sashing because I think it's hard if, if you had a two inch sashing and you chose a two inch circle, it's awfully hard to get it to meet at the sides of the sashing in exactly the right way. It's much more forgiving if you choose a circle size that's a little smaller than your sashing area to begin with. This ruler, like the other rulers in the line, has a non-skid backing and two colors of markings. Next, I'd like to show you how to quilt scallops. So once again, I'm bringing my bobbin thread to the top. I usually start off my stitching with a series of very small stitches, but if you're doing a quilt for a show, you might want to start off at your normal stitch length and go back and knot and then bury the threads. Um, but I usually just do a few stitches very close together. And when I'm talking very close, I mean it will look like a 0.4 or a 0.6. Um, and now I'm bringing up my ruler. Note how I brought up the ruler after my presser foot was already down. I don't want to crash on my ruler. So now I'm lining up the lines, on the mid, mid lines on the ruler with the edge of my quilting area. I could use other lines um, to line it up, either uh, the lines at the bottom or the top of the ruler and get a completely different design. So that's, that's one of the things that makes ruler work so fun is, is just discovering new ways to use the rulers themselves. Okay, so now I'm gonna move my ruler. You can see I quilted a semicircle, but I could have just as easily used one of the other lines in the ruler. So like that line would produce a shallower curve and that line would produce an even shallower curve. So there's lots of markings to make many designs accessible. I'm going to continue on along the row. And when I get to the edge of the quilting area, I'm going to create a mirror image of this design. So I'm actually going to use another ruler, a straight ruler, to come si down the side of my sashing to about relatively the same point on the other side. I don't measure this. You could measure it, but I usually just wing it. And then I try to make sure my, uh, my ruler's in the right position. So right there, I've lined it up. And I've actually extended that little chalk line so I know where my stitching... Um, should meet so that this design will be truly symmetrical. When you choose to do a scallop and the scallop um, actually extends more than halfway into the border, you get this awesome petal and diamond design. And I should say that all the rulers come with instructions for some different designs. There's a lot more designs in my Ruler Work Quilting Idea book because you can do an infinite number of things with circles. Now, I want you to note here, I'm stopping. I'm not gonna try to go around that whole semicircle all at once. It's a pretty big semicircle. Instead, I'm gonna do a quarter of a circle, a quarter of the circle. I'm not afraid to stop because I have the ruler to help me. Now, uh, I'm going to show you how to quilt using those other lines, quilt shallower scallops. So you can see I just, I just aligned my ruler a little differently. There's really no difference. And you have to make sure to use the same line each time or you get um, unintended consequences. Next, we'll quilt a petal design. So you can see in this block, I've already marked the center lines, but the horizontal and the vertical center. And I'm looking at that intersection. Okay. And, I've, and I've chosen a ruler that I think has a nice curve for petals of this size. There's no right or wrong, really. I've gone ahead and I brought out my bobbin thread. And now I'm going to bring over the ruler. But note that I always bring my presser foot down before I bring my ruler over. And what I'm, in essence, going to do is connect this point to the center point. So I'm quilting around the side of the ruler. If I had used a shallower or, a, a, I guess, a bigger circle, it would make a shallower curve. That's not wrong, it's just a different design and that's what makes ruler work so fun. So now you can see I'm, I'm quilting uh, to the next corner and usually I try to quilt in the direction of least resistance because you know if you back out of something um, you can get a little pucker and usually you want to avoid that so I always um, try to go in in the easiest direction I can and almost create an S-curve. So I've almost finished the design here. 
I'm going to come back. This design looks great in both traditional and modern quilts. Wasn't that a great introduction to ruler work from our friend Amanda Murphy? Now, as she mentioned, these rulers do have that great non-slip surface on the back, lots of angle lines in here. This is what I used to quilt this quilt. It was much easier to use the ruler and free motion techniques to do these all of these linear sections rather than trying to continuously turn the quilt using a walking foot. Now, if you'd like to learn more about ruler work, uh, there will be a class in our Folsom location with Elaine Buchanan. You'll want to take a look at the upcoming class curriculum in the new edition of the Fall Meisner Maker Magazine. Jenny Lyon will be teaching a Yes You Can free motion quilt in several of our store locations. It's a great primer, it's a great way to get comfortable with free motion quilting, and both of these are regardless of the type of machine that you're working with. <clears throat> Ellen will be teaching the ABCs of free motion quilting on the long arm, as well as a fabulous feathers and swirls class on long arm as well. So again, take a look at those. Those are some great things to be signing up for to become more comfortable and familiar with long arm quilting. Hey Jen, how about we give something away? All right, let's give something away. Now before we do, do you remember how you can be eligible for this drawing? Like comment or share on our Facebook page and let us know what um, you've been working on. We'd love to hear from you. All right, what have we got there, Drew? We have a Colorworks strip quilt pattern with the 42 strips to go with it. Very nice, we are talking about quilting and you could finish this with your ruler work. What else have you got there? Well, since it's our 90th anniversary, we've got a $90 gift card to go with that as well. Woohoo, that's fantastic. So remember, Tuesday, you'll find out who the winner of this great quilting bundle is. So Drew, here's to another 90 great years. 90 more years. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. And breaking news, Meisner makers, we will have a virtual presentation from So Steady, uh, our partners with another brand of long arm ruler and table extensions, and they will be doing an online ruler work for beginners session in October. So watch your e-blasts, watch Facebook, watch our website for more details. And now I believe that it is time for a flash sale. Woo! Okay, we talked about and you saw a little bit about these ruler work rulers from the Good Measure Company. There's a whole series of them. There's an every line and every feather, every plume, every wave, and so on and so on. There's even a great ultimate guide to ruler work book that's available. Now, the more you buy, the more you save. One ruler equals 20% savings. Two to three rulers equal 25% savings. Four rulers for 30% off. And if you were to purchase all of the rulers that are listed you will and the ultimate guide to ruler work, you will receive the whole series for $375.99, which is over 35% off. So in order to secure your savings, you'll want to email me at info at MeisnerSewing.com and we'll get that taken care of for you. Now, for those of you who quilt and you're looking for ways to save more time, to become more accurate with what you're doing, and to start stitching a little bit sooner, I do want to show you a couple of things from our partners with AccuQuilt. There are three, if you've never seen the AccuQuilt cutters before, you're really going to love this. So there are three different styles. Just like when we're selecting a sewing machine, you want to choose the style that's appropriate for you. If you're just getting started, and again, you're not quite sure how often you may use this cutter, I would still say let's go with the electric cutter, but you may want to start with the Go Me. This is the smallest model. Um, it does work with quite a number of dies in the AccuQuilt cutting line. It is a manually uh, operated cutter. It will still give you the same accuracy, consistency, and better cuts for your projects. Then there's the larger uh, style. That's the Go, the Ready, Set, Go style. It does work with almost all of the dies in the AccuQuilt die line. 
Um, you will, again, manually crank that particular one in order to cut your pieces, and we'll show you that in a moment. And then there's the Go Big. The Go Big I love because it is an electronic cutter. I can put my dies and my fabric on the bed of the cutter and it's gonna go through there for me automatically. Now, not only does it save me time by making sure that all of my pieces are cut accurately and consistently, but I can slide that first board through the cutter and then be prepping my fabric for the next cut. So I really like that a lot. Um, also, for those of us who don't have as much strength in our hands, that electric cutter is really going to be very beneficial to you and give you a way to cut your fabric shapes accurately so that you can keep quilting longer. Now, the same quilt that I talked about earlier, uh, this was cut 100% using the AccuQuilt cutters. So I used the strip cutters for these areas, and then I used one of the mix and match companion cubes to cut all of the pieces for the Drunkard's Path elements within this particular quilt. Now there are some new dies available and this one is one of my favorites. Now I neglected to mention earlier that this video is a little kickoff for several offshoot videos that we're going to be doing throughout the next nine weeks as we're celebrating our 90th anniversary. And one of them is going to feature this particular AccuQuilt die. This is the new Starry Path die not something that I personally want to cut using templates or rulers. I would be much happier cutting it using my AccuQuilt system. Now, if you look at the dies, one of the things that you may notice is these triangles look like they've been nipped here on the ends. And the reason for that is so that you know exactly how to align your fabrics together as you're feeding them through your sewing machine so that you will always get the most accurate uh, stitching for the most accurate finished blocks. Now this particular block I also really loved, not only because it's so much faster to cut it using my AccuQuilt system, but this is a great place to use all of those decorative stitches on your sewing and embroidery machines. Really makes a nice um, crazy patch type style. I can play with a lot of different threads. I could do some couching in here. If you are fortunate enough to be the owner of a machine that has scanning and auto digitizing capabilities, you can even program the background areas to do your quilting for you. How cool is that? And now I'm sure it is because it is our 90th anniversary celebration month that when you purchase a Go or a Go Big, we do have a rebate, a $90 rebate that's available for you. So there's never been a better time to get started with the AccuQuilt system. And we're gonna take a walk out to the floor and Rachel is gonna show us some hints and tips for working with your AccuQuilt cutters. Are you ready, cameraman Joel? Yep. Hi, my name is Rachel, I'm in the Sacramento store. Today I'm gonna to show you a little bit about the AccuQuilt ghost cutting system. You just take any of your fabric that you got left over you put it on the cutter, put a cutting base on top of it, run it through the machine, and in less than a minute, your fabrics will be cut and ready for you to make your quilt. Um, this I've used for a couple of years now and found that it definitely cuts the time for cutting your quilts in half. It's so much easier than cutting every little piece one at a time. I've made quilts with it. I've made memory um, wedding anniversary quilts and people love the look of them. And you can see how they cut and how beautiful the cuts are. This is eight layers and it cut it with no problem whatsoever. This makes it so much easier to make your quilts. They're all done 100% when, when you cut them up. Every single one of them cut it just as beautifully as the first. So here are the cuts. Now you can make the Starry Night, which is this beautiful quilt block. I hope you learned something about the Aki quilt. Thanks. Have a good day. Rachel, those were some great tips for working with the AccuQuilt cutters. Now, in breaking news, and I am sure that this was meant specifically for me, so thank you, AccuQuilt, 
Coming towards the end of September is a new set of dies, a new set of companion dies that are meant for English paper piecing. If you've never done English paper piecing before, or if you haven't done it because you're thinking, ooh, handwork. All right, traditionally, yes, it is a handwork technique. An English paper piecing consists of starting with cardstock shapes that you would then baste your fabrics to and then stitch together. When these cubes come in, I'm gonna show you how to do this by machine. So you can have your choice of hand, machine, or a little combination of the two. Great way to create hand look work in half the time. So thank you to our friends at AccuQuilt for that great new cube line. Hey Jen, how about we get something away? All right. How do they enter for this giveaway, Drew? They are going to either uh, like, comment, or share on our Facebook page. And lots of likes and comments and shares, and you may <laughs> receive this. All right, so what have we got? We have a AccuQuilt uh, Quilt in a Day book by Eleanor Burns. Ooh, very nice. Okay, and, and what have you got? We've got a $25 Meisner gift card. Ooh, can I use this for anything? Yes, you can use that for just about anything in store, yes. So I could use this towards my new English paper piece and cube. I cannot wait for that to come in. All right, so remember, like, share, like, share, or comment. And if you would like to secure your English paper piecing cube and book to make sure you get them first and right away, then email me at info at meisnersewing.com and we will secure yours for you. Now, if you would like to learn more about either the AccuQuilt cutters, how to use them, how to incorporate them into your quilting projects, then you wanna look for Ellen's classes that will be coming up this fall. Now, if you are also thinking, hmm, I'm really getting excited. I'm thinking it might be time to look and see what else is going on in the world of sewing machines. I do wanna introduce you to the Janome Continental M7. You are going to love the 13 plus inches of space to the right of the needle. You're going to love the way the um, stitch plates come on and off so easily so you have the right one for the job at home. You're going to love the sheer power that this machine has. It is the closest thing to an industrial style machine on a home platform that I've seen recently. So let's take a look at how this machine functions. Roll camera, Joel. Did you know that the first overlock machines were developed in the 1880s by a knitwear mill in Connecticut? Isn't that kind of an interesting piece of history to, to know? Um, so overlockers do have their roots in industrial machines, just like we do. 
and it is an indispensable item if you are a garment maker. Um, even for quilters, you're going to find that there are an awful lot of uses for this. It's a great way to take your projects from loving hands made at home to a professional finish. And from our friends at Bernina come two new overlocks that you are definitely going to want to take a peek at. One is a, a traditional two, three, four thread overlock. The other is a cover chain combination. And what makes these so unique? Well, they do have a great new air threading system. And if you have ever struggled to remember the correct sequence to thread your overlock, you are going to love this. Very quick, very simple. Open the door, turn the knob, and step on the foot control, and your loopers are threaded. It is just that easy. You're going to find a lot of convenience features on these machines. The presser foot uh, moves out to the side for ease in threading the needles and for changing the needles. You're also going to see that you have a nice large space available for stitching a great slide on table, so a lot of uh, room for supporting your projects and your garments, but that table also removes and there's a free arm area. So this is really handy for getting into tight areas if you do create children's garments or other craft items where you need that space to be able to get right up in tight. You're also going to have so much control. If you have ever surged something and you've got that little bit of daylight that's showing between your fabric and the loops in the overlock stitching, you'll really appreciate having control over not just the cutting width, but also the stitch finger. So with micro thread control found on these two models of machines, not only can you adjust your cutting width by means of the blade, but then you can fine tune that cutting position using the micro thread control. You'll also find that like traditional Bernina machines, you can control the needle movement a half step at a time. So by using the heel of the foot control, you can rock back to bring the needle down, rock back to bring it up, down to uh, back to bring it down, so that as you're approaching a corner, as you are um, getting into some very close tight areas, you will have total control over that needle and that needle position. It is so easy to save stitch settings on the L890. A hundred stitches can be saved and customized right there on the screen of that color touch screen. It's easy, it's intuitive, and there's even a beautiful cabinet that's available that your machine will fit right into. And it comes in two different colorways ample storage space there for your threads and your other accessories and notions that you will need to serge and stitch in style. Let's see what this Bernina spokesperson has to say about this new machine. Roll that footage, cameraman Joel. Hi, I'm Jen Beeman. I'm a sewing pattern designer and pattern maker based in Chicago. I love that the new Bernina machine has three main functions overlock, cover stitch, and the five thread combo. I love the new L890 because it has the same quality Swiss precision and engineering as the rest of the Bernina lineup. The one step air threader is awesome. Not only is it easy and fun, it means your threads will never become tangled or threaded out of order. The color touchscreen is super easy to use and the large icons make it really easy to see what you're doing. As a garment sewer, I really enjoy the free arm on this machine. It's perfect for all the little cuffs and little fiddly things that I always am working on. For larger projects and garments, the slide-on extension table is a must-have. It supports the weight of these larger projects and comes standard on the machine. As a right-hander, I really appreciate the extra space here so you can get your arm around with the presser foot easily. The L890 comes with the Bernina freehand system, which means you can raise and lower the presser foot using your knee. This is great because it gives you access to both hands while sewing. With this machine, you can sew with two, three, four, or even five threads, which is really exciting because it gives you a stitch for every seam application and fabric. The needle stop up and down function is great. All you have to do is kick back on the foot control and your machine will move the needle a half step. The presser foot swings out to give you easy access to the needles while threading. Not only is the L890 super fast, but you can also adjust the top speed as well as the lower speed. The bright LED light is super helpful because it allows you to see every stitch, whether it's day or night. 
Using the foot control, it's easy to control the speed of the machine, enabling you to even do stitch-by-stitch -stitch sewing. One of the benefits of the screen is that there's a guided mode and an expert mode to help you set up your stitches. The guided mode contains a wizard for step-by-step -step instruction on how to set your stitches properly. The expert mode contains an overview so you can double check you've got everything right. When you select your stitch, the machine automatically sets the thread tension, differential feed, and stitch length for you. If you're into decorative stitching or specialty threads, you'll really appreciate the Stitch Optimizer. There are helpful tutorials and a stitch consultant included in the machine, so if you have a question about a stitch or a fabric, all you have to do is look it up. Helpful animations are included to help you with threading and setup. You can save your stitch customizations using the personal memory. Your sound, screen brightness, colors, and speed are all saved for the next time you sit down to sew. Using a button on the screen, you can permanently set the needle up or down. This is great because while you're cover stitching, you'll likely want the needles to stop up so you can pull and lock your threads. But while overlapping, you'll likely want the needles to stop down. The stitch length, cutting width, and thread tensions are all adjustable while sewing, which is great because it adds precision to your creative thread applications. The overedged thread amount can be precisely adjusted using the easy to access micro thread control. The MTC is a great solution for making your flat lock seams even flatter. If you're a dressmaker like me, you'll also appreciate the differential feed for its ability to keep your shaped hems and curves flat while you sew. People ask me all the time what the secret is to getting clean, professional looking garments, and there's really no secret. All you need is practice and a good quality, precision machine, which is why I only use Bernina. I finally have everything I've ever wanted. Bernina, made to create. All right, now, if you already have a traditional overlock, two, three, four thread style overlock that you love, but you really wish that you had the opportunity to get into more professional looking knitwear with a dedicated cover stitch machine. Well, thank you to our partners at Baby Lock who have just released this Euphoria. Now, I love the expansive space that you have between the needles and the inside area on the machine. You've got a great surface to support your projects. And of course, it is air threaded. So let's take a quick peek at this machine in action. So if you would like to learn more from our partners at Bernina come the big book of surging. And while it is machines, while it is branded, it does have information that is going to be appropriate for all makes and models of sergers. So some great information there. Also from our friends at Baby Lock, you'll find the Love of Knowledge subscription programs. Those are available in two and four year subscriptions. Uh, this month, with a number of our Baby Lock machines, we do have this as a free gift to you. So it's like having an educator on hand 24 seven to help you out with those machines, techniques, and projects that you're working on. Hey, hey Kajin. Kajin, what's going on? We're just celebrating our anniversary. Nice, let's Happy celebrate. Years. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, well, let's do a giveaway, I think. Can we? We can. Perfect. Now remember, to enter this giveaway, you're going to like, comment, or share. So what have we got to give away, Christine? Ooh, I've got four spools of serger thread. Woohoo! Yes. I've got, oh, something's in there. 
a gift card, absolutely. Of what? Fantastic. Value, I'm sure. And the big book of surging. Excellent. For that brand new, beautiful serger from Bernina. Fantastic. Yes. Thank you for bringing those absolutely. fabulous prizes absolutely. in, Christine. And remember, like, share, or comment to enter to win. Now, before we go too much further, I'd like for us to take a field trip out and Lisa will give you some additional hints and tips about working with your overlock machines. Hello, Miser Makers. I'm here to talk just a minute about sergers. Um, sergers are machines that give you professionally finished seams and edges. Great for garment construction, altering your, your clothes. That's what I use mine a lot for. And with air threading systems that are out in the industry now, sergers are super easy to thread and operate just about as easy as a sewing machine. Bernina has come out with their first air threading serger and we do have one in the store. It has a couple of really cool features. One being the knee lift. With the knee lift, I don't need to manually lift my presser foot. So it's a hands-free system that a lot of the sewing machines have. And now um, Bernina does have it on their new serger. One of my favorite things to use my serger on is to bind my quilts. I'll use a four thread stitch with fusible thread on the underneath and then I simply press my binding onto my quilt and it's ready to be finished by hand or by machine without using pins or clips. Uh, we offer serger club. It's a great way to learn how to use your serger, all the different things you can do with your serger. So come on in, get a demonstration and fall in love with serging. So be sure to check out your Meisner Maker Fall edition of the magazine for other classes to help you become more familiar and better acquainted with your overlock machines. We do have a serger club that's going on and we do have new owner serger classes for you as well. Now, remember way back at the beginning, I mentioned that we had done this in the past and we so miss seeing your faces. So we want to just take a little walk down memory lane for a peek at one of our previous in-person socials. Roll that footage, cameraman Joel. have certainly changed in the last 90 years. Isn't this just a cool looking vintage ad from the 70s? Now, years ago, our options were to email, to snail mail you, right? To put something in the mail with a stamp on it and send it. And several days later, you would receive it. And so information was never quite as current as we're able to provide with you now. Today, we have our beautiful Meisner, Mag Meisner Maker magazine. We have our website, we have Facebook, we have eBlast, we have Instagram, we have Pinterest pages. So lots of ways to be able to get information to you quickly and easily. Now, not only that, but communication changes have also allowed us to be able to come to you today virtually for this 90th anniversary brunch celebration. Who'd have thought last year when we were hosting this in the event center that this year I'd be right in your dining room hosting today. 
Now, not only that, but technology has allowed us to be able to do additional events and programs right in your sewing room. So coming up in September, we have this great embellish program brought to us by our partners at RNK Distributing. And it's really kind of a cool way for you to get more familiar with your embroidery machines. So you'll have a choice. There are two different projects that you can create. One focuses on the cute little llama that you see in the image, the other on the flamingo. So we'll have a little voting at the end. We'll see who is more in favor of the llamas, who is more in favor of the flamingos. But everyone at the end is gonna have a super, super cute, uh, multi-dimensional mini quilt hanging. And you're going to learn a lot along the way. And in addition to that, you'll have an opportunity to shop through that R&K portal during that event. Now do register quickly as you do need to have time to either come by and pick up your kits or uh, to have them shipped to you. Okay, so do check that out online. The other upcoming virtual program that we have coming is Day at the Fair. And this is a Kimberbell program. Some of you are familiar with those. It is a one day session. Daryl will be walking you through three different projects. And again, this is a great way for you to become more familiar with your embroidery machine. It does require that you have a minimum hoop size of five by seven. So if you have been considering a new embroidery machine, this might be a time to have a look. Now, if you are considering a new embroidery machine or your first embroidery machine, again, shoot me an email at info at MeisnerSewing.com so that I can set you up with an experienced embroidery specialist who can help you make the best decision for you, right? There are lots of machines out there and we want you to have the one that's gonna be the most comfortable fit for your personal situation. So you might wanna consider something like the Baby Lock Flourish too. This is an embroidery only machine. It's perfect for those that have a sewing machine that they love and you want to enter the world of embroidery. The Aventura 2 is another great option and this is one that we find fits the new embroiderer, but it's also a great companion machine for those that have high-end machines that are a little heavy and cumbersome to take to class because it is both a sewing and embroidery system. If you're going to a sewing class, you can take just the sewing machine portion. If it's an embroidery class, the hoop is large enough for most of the classes that are embroidery classes in any of our store locations. I'd like to also uh, point out the Janome 550E. This is another great standalone embroidery machine. Again, if you have a sewing machine at home that you love, you're gonna really enjoy working with this particular machine to add to the repertoire of tools that you have in your sewing room. So now I do want to announce a little flash sale. I talked a bit about the Kimberbell event and the Kimberbell programs. If you have not seen the Love Notes program or you were hesitant to get started with the Love Notes program, I wanna take just a, little, a few minutes to share this information with you. This is available for both machine embroidery as well as traditional sewing techniques. The original Love Notes program started early in August. And as we talked about communications and how communications have changed, this kind of harkens back to, remember when we used to get things in the mail, right? Oftentimes our bills don't even come in the mail anymore. They're electronic or they're automatically drafted. Wasn't it nice to receive just a letter Right? I still try to make sure that from time to time I send my grandchildren you know, little cards and things. They get a kick out of going to the mailbox. Um, it's just kind of a sweet way to reach out and to surprise someone. So the Love Notes program is five sets of instructions to create a mini or to create a wall hanging quilt project that again has that theme of communication. Now, it also includes the embellishment kits that you need to put the piece the project together and the love notes fabric kit it's a little sneak preview here of the different fabrics and the colorway for this particular project now again if you are already familiar with this project and you wanted to wait until the quilt had been revealed then you know what it looks like all of the components are here and you have the option of ordering the embroidery version or the traditional sewing version. Okay, now, 
If you are hearing about this for the first time, close your eyes. I don't want you to see the next slide. It is a spoiler, okay? If you're thinking, oh, that's kind of cool. I would love to do this as a mystery on my own. Then you'll, you would purchase all of the items and you will open your envelopes one at a time as you complete the section. So you would open envelope one, complete the instructions, then open up envelope two, complete the instructions, then open up envelope three, and so on until your project is completed. If you're thinking that's a great idea, but I really wanna see it. Okay, if you didn't wanna see it, keep your eyes closed. If you do wanna see it before you make a choice, then you can keep your eyes open. Those of you with your eyes closed, I will tell you when it is safe to open them again. Now, isn't that adorable? Now, I will tell you, I'm a little bit behind, but I have been having a great time stitching these up. I've had the opportunity to work with a lot of different embellishments that I haven't worked with before and some different embroidery techniques as well, like this great little dimensional piece. So we do have some special pricing in place for those. And again, now you can open your eyes if you, have, um, if you want this to be a mystery for you. Now, I think that it might be kind of fun. Cameraman Joel, do not tell Drew that we did this, but I am going to give away one of the uh, Kimberbell kits. If your name is drawn, then let me know whether you want the sewing or the embroidery version, but we'll be drawing for the fabric kit, the embellishment kit, and the instructions. So remember, in order to be eligible, like, share, or comment. In keeping with our communication theme, did you ever think that you would be able to communicate wirelessly with your sewing and embroidery machine? Let me introduce to you the newest machine from Brother, and this is the Luminaire 2. So you can send designs wirelessly to the machine from your PC. You can also communicate by way of your mobile device with the machine if you have to step away while the machine is embroidering. There's a monitoring app that will let you know when it's time to change your thread or when your design is completed. How cool is that? Uh, there's also a new app where you can quickly send images to the machine for auto digitizing processes right there on the screen of the machine. Absolutely amazing. I'm not sure that Ernest saw that coming when he started the business 90 years ago. Now this machine is more than just an app. Some of the things that I love about the Luminaire 2, well, number one, the size of the embroidery hoop because it never can be large enough. So whether you are quilting your quilt blocks in the hoop, you're wanting to embroider a jacket back, you're wanting to do um, table linens or other home deck items, you're gonna be able to stitch them up quickly and professionally using your Luminaire 2. I also like that I have two different functions for making sure or ensuring that my embroidery ends up in exactly the right spot, actually three. Uh, there is the built-in camera feature, so I can scan the item that's in the hoop, it'll show up on the screen of my machine, and then I can position the design exactly where I want it. There's also a projector, so I can project or beam the image down on the fabric and see how it's gonna look on my project. And then of course, the snowman stickers for automatically adjusting the center point location of my design on my project. Embroidery just doesn't get much easier than that. Some brand new things that have been added. If you enjoy quilting in the hoop or stitching around shaped areas in the hoop, there is now a great little um, hexagon, set of hexagon designs that are in there. There are some new border designs with, for multicolors. There's a great new magnetic hoop that's available for quickly and easily hooping some of your larger projects, including some of your continuous border type designs. There's a great placement feature for your decorative stitches. So remember that that camera is not just for machine embroidery. It's also for stitching as well, so that you don't have to painstakingly mark and then figure out how to remove those markings from your fabric. Lots of beautiful fills for, around, uh, for quilting around the back of your traditional blocks or for creating textured fills and other designs. So let's take a look at how the Luminaire 2 is stitches in action. From light years ahead to light years beyond. Introducing the Brother Luminaire 2 and Novus XP2, the second generation of the brilliant Luminaire, featuring revolutionary stitch vision technology 
for virtually perfect stitch positioning and more precise previews of your designs and stitches. And now, with the Novi Plus technology, you can stop your stitch exactly where you want with the endpoint sewing function. Plus, enjoy virtually unlimited design options with the enhanced My Design Center. With 42 decorative fills inspired by geometric shapes, basket weave, leaves, and bubbles. To elevate the built-in designs or create unique ones, the Luminaire 2 is filled with even more brilliant technology to let your creativity shine. Like two new app-based features, My Design Snap for wirelessly transferring line art or illustrations from your mobile device to your machine. And My Stitch Monitor for remotely keeping tabs on the progress of your embroidery. Plus, Choose from five bold hexagon shapes to give you more options for your embroidery and quilting projects. And five two-color quilt sash designs, perfect for eye-catching colorful borders. And single or triple stitch options for quilt sashing to let your stitches stand out. All working together to take your projects beyond beautiful, lighting up your world and theirs. The Luminaire 2 Anovis XP2, light years beyond. Those of you that have Luminaire 1 model machines, there's an upgrade for you. Now last year, the upgrade 1 was introduced. It included things like couching foot, couching designs, another hoop, some additional fill stitches and designs, etc. This year, the upgrade includes those hexagon Fills. It includes the multicolor or the dual colored border designs um, and some other great upgrades like those application features. So if you would like to turn your Luminaire 1 into a Luminaire 2, be sure to email me at info at MeisnerSewing.com and we can get you all of those details. If you'd like to further explore machine embroidery, then you'll definitely want to take a class with Dara. Uh, Dara does quite a number of our in the hoop classes as well as our new owners classes. She also will be co will be hosting the uh, Kimberbell event that I talked about earlier, the day at the fair. And a little birdie told me that that is Dara's birthday. So not only will we be hosting a virtual event, we will probably have a virtual birthday party that same day. But don't let on. We're going to let this be our little secret. Now it's time for a flash sale. This time of year, when our manufacturers are coming out with new model machines, there are often two or three models that are still in our warehouse um, that are the prior year machine. Brand new machines or some that are on our floor as our last floor model machines. So for those of you that have been coveting a top of the line machine with that super large embroidery feel, you want a camera, you want a projector, you want those great stitches and other functionality. There are still a few Solaris ones that are available and for our anniversary sale, they are coming with upgrade packages that take that machine from a Solaris one to a Solaris two and save you a tremendous amount of money at the same time. What could be better than that? So we're gonna take a little field trip out and Drew's gonna share a little bit more information with us about the Solaris one and the Solaris two. Hi, it's Drew from Eisner Sewing and Vacuum. And I'm here to talk to you today about the new Baby Lock Solaris 2. Uh, we are very excited to have this machine now in our lineup. Um, I must say one of the features that I like most is what the camera function can do. Not only can it take a picture of what's in our hoop and bring it up on the screen, we can also project the design right down onto our hoop so we can get virtual uh, exact placement of where that design is go going to go or where we're going to connect previous designs. Uh, we have an improved sewing function where you can place a sticker right where you want the end of the stitch to stop and the machine will stop for you. There are new apps uh, from your phone where you can monitor uh, the machine's progress remotely. Uh, you can even uh, send a design over to be created, some basic line art images. Uh, we do have some great promotions. Uh, there's an option to add a new Koala Studio, a new home for your sewing machine. Uh, we also have, uh, for previous Solaris One owners, we have upgrades available for you so you could essentially have your current machine almost just like a Solaris uh, Two. So please come in and stop by and see 
uh, why we like the Solaris 2 so much and what it can do for you. Thank you and have a good day. So talk about your tech savvy, stitch savvy products. From our friends at Viking Husqvarna is the Epic 2. Now, not only is this machine beautiful, but it also has a wide range of wireless connectivity options. There's the MySoNet, which gives you a whole environment of cloud-based storage where you can store your designs, you can transfer your designs. Imagine being able to send a design that you've created to a friend in another state. Isn't that truly amazing? There's also a monitoring app that's available and there's a placement app that's available so that you can be assured of perfect positioning every time. Not only that, but there are some truly beautiful and unique stitch functions available exclusively on your Epic 2. Ribbon embroidery. This is to me one of the most beautiful ways to be able to create some texture and dimension. And if you remember the old days when we did ribbon embroidery by hand, you're going to absolutely love this feature on the machine. That presser foot raises and lowers on its own. There's information on the screen that walks you right through a whole variety of processes and setups. But let's take a look quickly at how that ribbon embroidery attachment works. With our roots in industrial machines, near and dear to my heart are the 10 needle embroidery machines that have been introduced this year. Whether you are an avid embroiderer and just really wanna get through all of those designs that you've purchased along the way, or whether you're ready to start a cottage industry, a 10 needle embroidery machine is going to be your best partner. Not only are you able to get those designs done quickly and efficiently, but this truly is a set it and walk away type machine. Once you have your colors up in the top and selected for your design, that machine is going to change colors, snip threads, and complete that embroidery design without supervision for, from you. And there is a monitoring app. So let's take a look at the Baby Log Venture in action. Wasn't that an amazing machine in action? So remember that's 10 needles, all threaded up, ready to go. You don't have to stop to change those threads. It'll give you, a, you can uh, use your monitoring app so that if you do need to walk away, it will let you know if there's something you need to take care of on that machine. Multiple uh, hoops available for you. Not only those that come with the machine, but there are a large number of clamping hoops that are available. There are cap hoops that are available. And one of my favorite things about this machine, in addition to the fact that I can set it and forget it, is that if you look at that um, stitch area, it is a tubular space. 
so that I can put items on and that I don't have to, to deconstruct them in order to stitch. So if you're sewing, a, if you're embroidering a onesie, that onesie is gonna slide right over that tubular arm and you don't have to worry about doing gymnastics as you're trying to hoop it. If it's a tote bag, if it's pockets, even um, boots, jean legs, etc., are all gonna be so much easier to embroider with your 10 needle. And there are several options to choose from. There is the Baby Lock Venture that we've just had a look at. There's also the new Brother 1055X that's available. And we do have just a couple of the prior model edition machines in our warehouse looking for homes at an amazing price point. So again, you want to email me at info at MeisnerSewing.com for more details on both the packages available with these 10 needle machines and our recently retired 10 needle machine. Now let's hear some hints and tips from multi-needle specialist, Carl. So Carl, you were gonna share some tips and tricks for working with the 10 needle machines. And if I'm, I've been thinking a little bit about starting a, a home-based business, are there some tips that you have for me for how to make the most out of my already very fast multi-needle embroidery system? Absolutely, so part of having a multi-needle machine like this is that you're going for efficiency. So one of the things with efficiency is setting up your machine in a way that is efficient. For instance, some simple little things would be putting your black and white towards the center needles of the machine. Your odder colors, your not more common colors, put those to the outside so it makes them easy to change out. Because this way when the machine is shifting colors and you're going from needle one to needle 10, back and forth, back and forth, you're wasting a lot of time. The other thing you want to do is run your machine at a speed that gives you enough time to hoop your next run as well as finish the previous run. That way you're also maintaining efficiency and keeping your machine running without just running the machine at a high speed and then it sits idle for five minutes while you're preparing and cleaning up. Because remember one thing, your job isn't finished until it's trimmed and put in the box. That's when it's done. Uh, that's a great idea. So I should have two sets of hoops. Absolutely. Two sets of hoops for if you're doing this commercially, two sets of hoops is almost uh, a, a needed item because if you don't, you're not being efficient. You're just hooping one and again the clock is ticking and if you really think about how much time is spent from the beginning of a job to the end of a job it's not just how long the embroidery runs it's actually how long it takes you to complete the job from the time you start opening the box until you are done with the box ready to hand it to your customer. And what's the number one tip for clean for keeping my machine running smooth and issue free. Absolutely. I would have to say the number one tip that I would have that makes these machines just run great is just your rotary hook cleaning. This seems to be a highly neglected part of the machine because people just take it for granted and it's running, running, running. So every time you change a bobbin, it's really a good idea, especially if you're doing caps or you're doing uh, fabrics that are putting off a lot of lint. Good idea to, it's very simple to do on the Brothers and the Baby Locks, is you take your hoop off easily move the table right out of spot, let it roll down, conveniently designed to access the rotary hook area easily. Take your bobbin out of your machine. With a light, small brush, you can clean out any lint or any debris that might be in here. It is good to every day or so to take the throat plate off. If you're doing a lot of work where you're trimming and running a lot, get those extra threads out of there so you're not binding any mechanisms up. Also, with a small little pen oiler like this, there is a diagram right on the inside of this door. So really it's telling you right where they want the oil to be. With the small little pen oiler like this, one drop of oil, it's just one tiny little drop is all it takes. You don't have to over oil these things. A, a, one drop of oil goes a long ways and it'll save you a lot of money in the long run in maintenance and just heartache and grief as far as not running properly. Now you said I should do this every day. Every day or every day that I embroider? I actually, every four hours of running time minimum. If you're running really hard, it's not a bad idea to do it every time you actually change the bobbin out. Because again, you're just keeping a little bit of oil. Keep in mind, this is getting oil only from this oiler. It's an essential oiling point. It doesn't get oil from any other location. All right. Well, thank you, Carl. That's fantastic. We truly appreciate it. Absolutely. And remember, give us a call with any questions here at Meisner Sewing. 
Wasn't that some great information that Carl shared with us about the multi-needle machines? I feel pretty comfortable that I could embroider like a pro. Hey, Jen, how about we give something away? Let's give something away. What have we got, Drew? Well, this is a Meisner exclusive custom um, scissor kit. Oh, those are beautiful. Yes, and the packaging is very, very nice as I well. I love it. This is going to look great in my sewing room. Do we have to give it away? Yes, we do. Uh, yes. Do we have any available for sale? Uh, we do, yes. We do have some for sale available in our Sacramento store that you can contact us. But if you want one for free, you can like, comment, or share, and it could possibly mm. be yours, All along right. with a $25 Meisner gift card. Excellent. Thank you so much, You're Drew. Welcome. So this is a brand new product that you're seeing first. There are three different scissor cats, kits available. There's an embroidery, a sewing, and a quilting kit. And these will be in all of our store locations very soon. So we hope to see you. Um, stop by, ask about those scissor kits. So now I do want to announce another flash sale. Through 930 of 2020, you can receive 30% off your machine, presser feet, and accessories all in stock thread and special savings on not only the PR1050X, that's the um, recently retired 10 needle model from, from Brother, but also any of the other machines that have recently retired in order to make way for the new end of 2020 models. Now we all know that everything is better with friends whether we're sewing, whether we're getting together for our book club, whether it's by way of Zoom meetings or whether they are people that you are seeing on a regular basis, we're carefully social distancing, it's always better with friends. Now, those of you who have eagle eyes, yes, that is Jim in the large picture, then, and Jim now in the bottom picture. So just a few things have changed over the last couple of years. Now our friends at Bernina also know that it's better to sew with friends. So one of the last products that I wanna share with you is the brand new special edition package from Bernina of America. So here is the beautiful 790 plus special edition, beautiful front stitch plate, wonderful high end features and functions, including the jumbo bobbin, dual feed, the stitch regulation, the large embroidery field, undo, redo, and embroidery, perfect positioning or precise positioning. And not only do you get all of those wonderful features and functions, it comes with coordinating luggage and a companion travel machine, the Bernina 480. Now you can use that as a companion traveling machine if you're going to stitch with a friend, or if you have somebody coming over, that, over to the house to stitch with you, it's an extra bonus machine to have on hand, or while you're embroidering, you could be stitching. So again, a few of those things that I really love, that beautiful large embroidery, the trimming of jump stitches in between, the absolutely amazing front stitch plate. I think whenever we're sewing, if we can surround ourselves with beautiful things, we are more likely to create beautiful things. Now also, as a side note, if you are looking for more of an entry to intermediate level machine, the Bernina 480 Special Edition is available on its own as well. So it comes either as a pair at no additional charge with the Bernina 790 Plus Special Edition, or it can be purchased separately on its own. It does have that wonderful jumbo bobbin. It does come with the walking foot and it also has its own set of luggage. So we're gonna take a walk out and Carrie is gonna give us a few hints and tips for sewing and embroidery. Hi Meisner makers, my name is Carrie Tondi and I'm here today to share with you some sewing and embroidery tips. And one thing that I like to tell my customers is that every project, whether it be sewing or embroidery, is a recipe. So the ingredients in your recipe are going to be the correct needle for the fabric that you're stitching on, uh, the correct thread and make sure that your thread and your needle are compatible. So you need to check the weight and uh, the type of thread if you're stitching on cotton, uh, industry standards state that you use cotton with cotton fabric, um, or you can use polyester. I personally like polyester. Yeah. Um, another ingredient would be for embroidery, a stabilizer. So you wanna make sure you use the correct stabilizer for the density of your design, um, the, um, the fabric that you're using, 
And so you always have to look at everything that's combined in your project so that you can have a, a good outcome for your project. And we're always here. If you uh, need help, give us a call here at 916-920-2121. And happy sewing. So if you are ready to learn more, you'll want to be watching for our, the posting of our new classes, special events, virtual events that are coming. You'll want to be watching for your edition of the Meissner Maker magazine to reach your mailbox. And take a look at this great class from our friend Ellen, who is going to be teaching a cute little zippered bag that not only helps you get acquainted with your machine, but it's also a really fun recycling project and will be a great holiday project as well. So we've enjoyed spending our time with you today. We hope that you've learned something. Um, we appreciate all the comments, all the questions throughout the course of this presentation. And again, we wanna thank you for the last 90 years and we look forward to serving your creative needs for the next 90 years. Remember, if you have any questions, if there's something I can help you with, please email me at info, I-N-F-O, at meisnersewing.com. Thank you.